Hey everybody, it's Mr. Greg from the Kindergarten Smorgasbord here with another how-to video. Today's video will be a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to make QR codes. You know, you've probably seen these things. They're everywhere. Even at the movies, you can scan a QR code and get free popcorn. True story, you should check it out. Um, I started using these with my kids last year and they love them. They make an excellent center. They're very engaging. They're a great way to use technology and your kids love them. You can't go wrong. They're easy to make. There's a lot of steps involved, but it's simple if you have some computer skills. If you can make a PowerPoint, you can make a QR code. It's really that easy. So I'm going to show you a quick video on how to make QR codes. Um, you will need um, an iPhone, an Android phone, an iPod, an iPad with internet access, and you'll need an app to read the QR codes. I have one called Scan, and what it does is that it reads the QR code. So if these are my QR codes. I scan the code, and it will bring up my file. This one is a counting activity for my kids so they would count the pictures and write the number. All right, so here goes the video on QR codes. All right, the first thing you wanna do when making QR codes for your classroom and your products is create the files in PowerPoint. So what I've done is I've opened up a new PowerPoint. I'm going to clear out these boxes and I'm going to insert whatever I want to show up when my students scan the code. So let's say I'm going to, we're working on numbers in the teens. So I'll put in the number, you know, make it look however you want it to look when it opens. Because what the QR code does is that it reads the code and then it opens up whatever that code links to. So here's the first step. So you've created your PowerPoint slide. You want to save your slide. So QR code tutorial. Save it. QR codes are easy to do once you get the hang of it, but they there are a lot of steps involved. For every QR code, you have to make an individual PowerPoint slide. Save your PowerPoint slide as a PDF file. Okay. So if I wanted to do another slide for the QR code, I would have to do a new slide. and do the same thing. Insert whatever you want. Save as a PDF file. Remember to name it something that you will remember. When I'm making a set of QR codes, I actually create a folder on my computer just for the QR code PDF file. So they're all in one file and one folder so they're easy to find. All right, now that you've done that, can close out of PowerPoint. And the next thing you want to do is go to a website um, where you can upload the files to somewhere that you can download them as a web page. The easiest way to do that is through Google. Um, there's a site called sites.google.com. So you go to sites.google.com and you'll have to register and create a page. There's some really great tutorials out there on how to do this. Um, 
Ladybug's teacher files is how I learned to do this, so that's a great place to start. So go to sites.google.com and you're going to upload your PDF files. So upload the PDF files that you created for your QR codes. And let's see if my computer is going to cooperate. There we go. All right. All right. So that's the first step is to create your PDF files as individual pages so one page per QR code and I will show you what to do. Alright so you've created your individual PDF files for your QR codes so if you want 20 QR codes you're gonna have 20 separate PDF files you've uploaded them to your Google Sites web page now you're ready to create your QR codes I use a website called qrstuff.com. So it looks like this. Where it says content website URL right here. That's where you're going to use the files that you uploaded to your Google Sites page. So go to your Google Sites, wherever you uploaded your PDF files. Remember, Ladybug's Teacher Files has a great tutorial on how to set up this Google Sites. All right, so here are my PDF files that I uploaded earlier. Where it says Download, right click, and go down to where it says Copy Link Address and click that. Go back to QR code, qrstuff.com, where it says Website URL right click and paste your website address from Google Sites and it's going to look like this All right click download QR code and your QR code is now downloaded onto your computer and there it is so if you want to make another one, go back to your QR codes that you uploaded to Google Sites, right click on the download link, highlight copy link address, select that, go back to qrstuff.com, clear out that, right click, paste, download QR code, your QR code downloads, and there it is. now that you've done that that's the hard part the hard part is creating the PowerPoint saving it as a PDF file uploading it to Google Sites copying and pasting the address remember every QR code that you want to create is a separate PDF file after you've uploaded all of your PDF files you've copied the link, you've created your QR codes, then you insert them into your products just like you would insert a regular picture or clip art into PowerPoint or whatever you use to create your resources. So that's it. All right, so now that you've created the PDF files, you've uploaded them to Google Sites, you've created the QR codes, I'm gonna show you real quick just how to insert them into a product or a resource that you're making for your classroom. I always use PowerPoint when I'm creating so I would just open up a new PowerPoint. Um, when I do it 
my QR codes, I use a table just to help me keep things lined up and organized. So I would insert a table, Let's make it a clear table. And then I would insert, let's see, whatever clip art I'm going to use. Um, of course, you know, I love, oh, let's use these. I think these are cute. These are from Crystal Lynn. And they're very appropriate for a QR code. So I would insert my little clip art. And then insert picture. Find where you saved your QR codes when they downloaded and just simply click and it inserts. And there is your QR code in your product. And then you would just do what you would normally do, save it as a PDF, print it out, laminate it, and put it in your classroom. And the kids can use smartphones, iPods, iPads, um, Android phones to scan those codes. And once they scan them, the picture that you created on the PDF file pops up and you have a fantastic technology center that your kids will go crazy for.